Hey folks, so here we're going to take on a VHRT and we can see that we've got a couple of hurricanes and a warden. Um, I go after one of the hurricanes first, even though it's a very difficult target because it's the actual bounty target. So if my ship gets really beat up, I can just warp away and then call it good. Um, so we start with all of our capacitors set to weapons so that we can have fast recharge and the highest DPS possible. And we only swap it over to the shields or the, or the thrusters if we need to recharge those. Um, we do end up needing to recharge the shields a whole bunch of times uh, because we're up against two hurricanes and this is a, a low population server. I think it has about 20 people on it. So all of the, uh, the enemies are, are fighting reasonably well, they're dodging, they're attacking, they launch a lot of missiles, things like that. Um, we're using laser cannons. All the laser cannons are pretty much the same in 3.14. Um, and so I just have three fixed size 3 uh, light strikes on this as they have the, the lowest uh, signature that they contribute to the ship. And I was just trying to minimize the signature to minimize the detection range and also make it a little bit easier to dodge missiles as I think um, a higher signature makes it easier for missiles to track you. Um, so we're just trying our best to get behind the hurricane here and trying to land as many shots as we can. We swap over to shields as needed to try and uh, to recharge when we're getting to about 30-20% shields or less. Um, this takes quite a while because uh, it's a little bit challenging to aim cannons because of their slower projectile speeds and the hurricane is, is piloting pretty well so I, I struggle to get behind it and stay behind it without his allies uh, starting to really chew through my own shields. Um, but I do my best. We're flying decoupled here and I tend to prefer to set my speed limiter to just about the top of the, the SCM speed um, to try and stay as maneuverable as possible. Uh, I'm doing my best to take advantage of the Gladius's uh, agility here, um, as that, that's the real strength I have here, other than the, uh, the, the, small, the small size and signature radius, which would make me a little bit harder to hit. We finally get a nice little lineup here, so we unload as much as we can. We do some real damage. Um, some of his ship is starting to show red, um, but not enough yet, so the, the fight kind of rages on here. Here we, uh, we get another nice little lineup. Um, bits of his ship are starting to fall off, but um, we're still taking a beating ourselves. Um, we ended up having to use a lot of decoys because there have been a lot of missiles fired toward us. Uh, we take out the the first target. Um, if I was just trying to power through and make as much money as possible, this is where I would just warp away to an orbital marker and take the next VHRT mission and just keep going through them. But since I'm just out here trying to have some fun, uh, I take the next target and go at it. Now, since uh, it doesn't matter who I kill first, I go for the Warden first because they're the much, much easier target to kill and that way I can just remove some of the DPS off the field. Um, so we do the same thing. It's much easier to, to stay on top of the Warden because they're slow um, and pretty quickly uh, he ends up going down. And so with that said, the only target left is the, the final Hurricane. Um, he's pulled some distance from us here, so we end up uh, increasing our speed a little bit to catch up to him, uh, but accidentally <laughs> overshoot him a little bit. Usually when I'm coming into my 1.2 kilometer range for my, my laser cannons, I like to try and slow down to below speed, um, just so that I can increase the amount of time in which I have him in my sights, rather than just blasting past him and jousting back and forth. Uh, jousting is very good for the Hurricane because of their incredibly high DPS uh, with their fixed weapons and their turrets. Not so great for the Gladius. Our strength is our agility and our ability to kind of avoid fire. Um, so I do end up having to joust him a couple times. You can see my shield goes down real fast. Um, 
but we managed to sort of adjust our, our angle of attack and, and start to rotate around him a little bit. Damn it! Now that um, we're one on one, I let the shield kind of hang out a little bit on the lower end because I know who's shooting at me and when they've got a line of sight on me. Um, that said, I still do end up taking some shots because he's got his fixed weapons, but he's also got his turret. So even though his fixed weapons are angled away from me, the turret was still able to hit me. Um, so I, I pull some distance. I was intending to pull some distance while my capacitor was on shields, but unbeknownst to me, I actually accidentally had it on weapons the whole time. So waste a little bit of time while I get my shields back up before charging back into him. That's one of the one of my only beefs with the Gladius. I consider it almost the perfect fighter, except for the fact that you can only see two of your MFDs at any given time, um, and you don't, you can't, at least I can't really make out any sort of um, target status or self status in the top left and the top right. And some other ships, it does show up, but it's very very faint over here. I can't really see it at all. So. You really only have two MFDs in your line of sight unless you want to literally take your eyes off the combat and to check other things like what are your power settings or what is your self status to see if you've lost lost any ship components or if you're taking any any damage to your hull. Um, I've tried to stay on top of my shields here, so I'm pretty confident that I'm in still good combat shape in there. As we get a little close shot at him, we can see that we've blasted off some pieces of the ship, so he should be a little bit less maneuverable, hopefully, and uh, hopefully he goes down pretty fast. We can see his hull's in the red, and yeah, there we take him down. Um, afterwards, cap back to shields, take a quick look at the ship to see how we've done, and we've done great. No, no real damage to the ship whatsoever, so great job. That's how you take out two hurricanes.